YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. I know why you're here. I know why you're sitting down on your phone or watching it on your TV. You're here to hear me talk about that smell good, man. I know. That smell good. You're here to hear me talk about it, all right? So, um, again, my name is Desiree L. Hicks Jr. I uh, appreciate you guys for stopping, stopping by one more time. If you have not subscribed, computer let me know something if you have not subscribed i encourage you to do so so you do not miss out on these fragrance videos that i am putting out here to the world and for you to be notified every single time i drop a brand new video go on and hit that uh, bell for me please hit that bell for me you'll be notified every time i drop a new video all right so let's get into today's review um i've been on the reviewing mode lately because i have a lot of fragrances and I don't have that many uh, reviews. I do a lot of lists and top fives and top tens and top threes and stuff like that, but I haven't reviewed a lot. So I need to get into that because I know some of you want to hear a more in-depth breakdown of some of these fragrances that I'm talking about. So with summer winding down and you can feel the fall in the air, especially down here where I live in Florida, like this morning, it was like 58, 59 when I was heading to the gym, just felt great out there last night uh, when I went outside for a little while it was low 60s had a nice little breeze so fall is coming in some other states I'm sure fall is already you know in the building um, but down here in Florida it's still kind of making its way down here so um, but before we get into the fall I just kind of want to wrap up my summer with some reviews like this so um, today we're talking about a fragrance that I absolutely enjoy that I love it's pressure man to me, this fragrance is pressure, and I think it's better than a particular fragrance that's out there in the niche world, all right? And you probably already know that because you've seen some of my videos when I talked about cloning. But anyway, today we're talking about from the House of Our Moth, from the Club Dino Wheat line, we're talking Milestone. All right, we are talking Milestone from Our Moth. Look at that beautiful reflective bottle there, very nice. All right, so this fragrance, has been a winter all summer for me, okay? And today we're gonna talk about how it smells, where you can wear it, um, you know, can you dress it up, can you dress it down, is it versatile or not? We're gonna talk about all of that, all right? But I must say, before we get into this, um, I'm totally biased towards this fragrance. Why? Well, just off its performance alone, versus Creed's Minocil Imperial, which I have boop, right here, all right? So, I've have samples of Minocil Imperial and I've worn it a few times, um, and it's a great fragrance. It smells tremendous, but it doesn't last long. It doesn't last long at all. It's right there with that Sean John Unforgivable that smells similar to it and it just doesn't last long. It's a very light, aromatic fragrance that's gonna dissipate quickly. And I don't know about you guys, but I'd be hesitant to spend close to $400, $450 on a bottle of Minocea Imperial, and it's not gonna work for me throughout a very hot and humid summer day. Um, I'm just not interested in doing that. But what I am interested in doing is getting a fragrance who, who has taken that DNA, a brand in their mouth, who's taken that DNA, and they've just vamped it up. I mean, vamped it up, and I appreciate that. And not to discreet, not to disminister Imperial, but we already know it's hard for citrus-type fragrances and, you know, aromatic citrus-type fragrances to last all day anyway. We know that. A good fragrance on a designer level, you might get six to seven hours of total longevity, probably an hour of projection maybe. Not with this stuff. This is easily eight to 10 hours performance, easily two, two and a half, maybe even three hours of projection and it is quality. When you get into this DNA of that saltiness, fruitiness, marine-like, aquatic-like vibe. It's just, it makes your mouth water, honestly. Um, it's its its addictive, honestly. I mean, I just love the smell of what they done. And even though this is a 99.2 DNA, identical DNA of Kree's Minister Imperial, I promise you with 
everything in me and no lies coming out of my mouth, that I'm gonna pick this over Creed's Minnesota Imperial. Just me, I'm gonna pick it. Is it blasphemy? Am I crazy? Yeah, I might be. But I think I know what I'm talking about. And if you get your nose on this, you'll be like, oh yeah, he's on to something, all right? So, got that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into how it smells. It's absolutely tremendous. That salty, uh, fruity, uh, musky, sweet of like of cores that they have in here is just tremendous you get some red fruits like some salted watermelon raspberry strawberry type vibe some arena some aquatic notes in here you get some a uh, musk in here some vetiver is in here you get a nice healthy uh, um, a nice healthy DNA that's inside of this bottle that's gonna just two wonders for you in the summertime this is a staple i'll always want this and have this our mouth please never never discontinue it this is a 50 dollar bottle of minicil imperial that's what it is and even if it went up to a hundred dollars i'll still pay a hundred for it all right well you know you're either gonna pay a hundred or four hundred from creed you choose all right, but smell wise, it is absolutely spectacular. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's a monster uh, beast performer. Um, it's just it's just great. It's just great. Now on the performance, like I said before, you're gonna get about two, two and a half hours of projection, eight to 10 hours of longevity, great sillage. It's gonna create a bubble, uh, a nice scent bubble uh, around you. So if you're in somebody else's space or they're in yours, they're definitely gonna smell you. You're gonna get compliments for sure, for sure with this one right here, all right? And just when I hear the words, you know, red berries, and strawberries, salted watermelon, marine notes, musk, like when you hear that, it's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's my speed for the summertime. And it's fantastic. I know a lot of people who have picked this up, not because of me, but just word travels fast and they agree. I'm not saying they said it's better than Creed, but they agree with, basically how I'm describing it and, and, and its performance and everything like that. Now, as far as versatility, it's really meant for the summer. It's really meant for the spring. You, I wouldn't wear this in the fall. It depends where you live. Like if it's a warmer fall day in Florida or Georgia or something like that, you probably can throw it on during the day for sure, for sure, for sure. But um, I wouldn't wear it in the fall. I wouldn't wear it in the winter time. Strictly summer, spring, beach day, boat day, hot day just in particular definitely would get off and i will wear this one for sure okay um where else are we going so how should you wear this basically white t-shirt shorts some fly sneakers some shades maybe a nice hat and you're chilling all right you're out here chilling you're enjoying a nice uh summertime day springtime day that's when you want to wear something like this this stuff is not expensive you can get a hundred and hundred and twenty ml bot, hundred and twenty-five, excuse me, hundred and five millimeter bottle for forty bucks. Forty bucks. Link will be down in the description. Now, summertime's almost over, but it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and buy this and put it in your collection so you'll have it ready for you um, when the summer and the spring return in 2022. Uh, it, it wouldn't hurt to do that at all, all right? So I'll cover performance. I've performed where you can wear this. I talked about where it's appropriate at, and I talked about how much I love it. I love it a lot. I spent a lot of time with it this summer, and there's still a little bit of time, even though we're almost to October, there's still a little time to wear this fragrance and really experience the magic that comes out of this bottle. I mean, they come dangerously close to Creed's Ministerium Puriat. Dangerously close. And this stuff is fantastic. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Take my word for it. Link will be down in the description. Go ahead and purchase it. A summer monster, a banger for the summer, a beast performer for the summer. And you won't be disappointed. You will get compliments and yeah it's good like that <laughs> it's good like that all right so once again from the house of our mom from the club dean wheat line we have milestone all right milestone this thing will show every fingerprint that you got going on by the way all right so 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's review and video of uh, Mouse Stone by our Moth the Club Dean Wheat line. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, link will be down there in the description for, for purchase. Don't sleep on it, guys. It's very, very good, like I said before. All right. So um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave a comment, hit that thumbs up. If by you guys doing that, it, it makes my video more visible to other people who are in the favorites. And, they might like what I'm saying too. So do me a solid, please, and hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. All right. So until next time, you guys be safe, take care of yourself, and then I'll see you on the very next fragrance video. All right, guys.